We need crystals. And to some smaller degree, we actually just want to just pump out a bunch more towers. So we could go for massive. Oh, did I mute all of the sounds in this game? I wonder if I actually did. I think I, I, I think I did, yeah. Give me a second. Options, music. So, four yellow isn't a terrible idea. Or we could get one green, nah. Uh, I guess here's the real question. I do need green, but I need two green. Two green, two yellow. Okay, so let's let's just go for invasion shifting sands. I got a fair bit of power that might be from destroyed bits. Oh yeah, we actually we lost a fair bit there. I think this is why I turned off the sound effects. Because over and over again is going to get real annoying. I'm not a big fan of sound effects in games. It's weird. There's a couple of games where it, it fits really freaking well. Doom is probably my favorite example. Yeah, especially because the only sound effect we're going to be able to hear is my tower going pew forever. I liked this so much better when we didn't have to hear anything but the music. The main problem is just, like, very few video games, um... Very few video games actually have the, uh... Have enough, like, sound effect variety and pacing to really make it worthwhile to listen to them for any length of time. Especially if it's, like, the same sound, sound effect forever. Like, I don't know. I've got a bit of a contentious relationship with sound effects in general. They, they just... It's rare. It's rare for them to really, like, stick with me. A Doom, Near Automata. Uh, I mean, honestly, a lot of AAA games get around this really well. Sound variety makes a massive difference. And so those games really thrive. In that exact manner. Okay. Should be the last wave. There's a hell of a lot of dudes. And yeah. Definitely going to want to invest in, uh... Definitely going to want to want to invest in some, like, doom, doom turrets just to destroy... Just to make sure there's nothing left. Because, yeah, as it stands, those are two way too large of groups. And I was really expecting the artillery turrets to do more more work, but oh well. Let's see, a few reload mags for the plasma mortar would make a massive difference for CC. I can take a look at the upgrades for that one. Okay. Man, they really have just stopped giving greens. So, I could invest so I can fire two Tempest shots out at once. I 
It'd be a single upgrade. Okay, save up for that one. What is with this resource distribution? Well, do I want a bunch of... Probably go for this one. We still need a lot of power. It, it could be RNG. It could be some kind of weird waiting where it's... Uh, you're supposed to get more of the lower tier resources early on. but then it starts evening out or question mark. Okay, let's probably pick up another Chimera. Or alternatively, we could get Interceptors. Or Cyclone. Let's get a Cyclone. I guess bombing craft might not be a terrible idea as well. Okay. So you go for a plane only run. I've considered it. The problem is, like, uh, with the archers, you can upgrade them so that they have fast healing and there's just more of them per like archer node that you've put down I uh, you can't do that with planes I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm like man I really wish this had um, a more robust tech tree is because there's only a couple of towers that actually have more upgrades than just like this structure has more HP and I find that can can be a little bit boring especially because I'm I'm spec so heavy into shields which it almost feels like you have to be with this game So I kind of, I kind of almost wish there was a, uh, oh, how would I describe it? I kind of wish, uh, every tower that you stacked onto your, your main tower just added to the HP instead, and it was all just one big lump. So wonder, can you play Void Destroyer 2? I already have, actually. I'm surprised people are still asking for that, but yeah, I, I played that game a long time ago. I don't know if I'd play it again. Which popular YouTuber played Void Destroyer recently that is now inspiring people to ask me to play it again? Because that's always how it works. Or did it just finally come out of Early Access? Because I it was in Early Access for a long time. Sounds like Eve or Elite Dangerous. Uh, yeah. Eve, Elite Dangerous, um, Rebel Galaxy. Okay, yeah, it just came out 1.0. Uh, I was wondering about that. Because, yeah, I played that when it first hit Early Access and, like, no one was interested. So I'm, I'm always a little bit shocked when it's just like, hey, Wander, go back to this old game that nobody cared about beforehand. I'm like, I played it. Just no one cared. So Vorian's also coming out of Early Access. Neat. We might do some, uh, space-related stuff along the way. Because I remember enjoying Avorion. It was a little long. And also very grindy. Like, my one problem with, uh, with things is, like... Any freelancer-type game tends to be kind of... Lengthy. Ooh. There's five green, which is good. Pretty much can't afford anything else anyway. 
So, to the Crystal Grove? Or the Glacial Streams. Uh, tomato, tomato. Let's see. There's also Conglomerate 451. I played that a while back. My one problem with dungeon crawlers in that specific vein is they also tend to be very grindy. And I remember playing it and they had really ugly character models that they would use for, like, the character portraits. And I just... I did not enjoy that. It felt very strange. And it, al it always does. I'm not a big fan of... Uh, I liked... I like Star Crawlers. That was that was like peak dungeon crawler for me. And everything after has been kind of boring. I did like uh, Legends of Amberland, but that was because it was a lot faster. Um one of the one of the things I think I run into with the uh, dungeon crawlers is procedural generation, I'd prefer it almost to be like hand design more than anything else. Let's see Legend of Grimrock 2 though. Grimrock is good. Uh, my main issue with Grimrock is I've already played it, and also uh, it ran very poorly on my computer at the time. So I just, I still remember that, even if it's, you know, very much not that way anymore. Wonder is the hipster stream playing games before they got popular and everyone's heard of them. Yes. I mean, it's generally true. Uh, and that's part of the reason why my channel even exists in the way that it does. Like, I played Vigante before Biznap played Vigante. And so, when everybody was looking for more Vigante, I was there. Uh, Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop, when that came, game came out, I was there. Because um, I, I believe it was like Markiplier and Jesse Cox and a couple other people had played like, just a little bit of it and then stopped, because honestly, not the most interesting of games. But I enjoyed it. And so, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of hipstery stuff, but it's a really good business model for YouTube to be on the scene before anybody else gets there. Because the larger a channel gets, the lazier they are about, like, keeping up with absolutely, like, new pre-release things. Um... And so I could, I could really use that to my own advantage when I was starting out. Still do, technically, but I'm a little slower. Like, I know that uh, Urtuk came out a while back, and I streamed it, but I haven't put it up on YouTube yet. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm trying to restrain how much content I put out on YouTube nowadays. And also, um... Uh... Also, I'm going on vacation... Let's see, when did you play puzzle games? Tons. I don't play as many of them as some other people, but I do play a lot. Let's see. So, I could go back to boosting this. What did I... Oh, no, no, no. We should go for the Spectres and Samsites. Because those, those are the most important. Then we can go to the Forge and up this thing and hopefully get something not shit. It got worse, damn it. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. Air Raid High Cliff or Invasion Lagoon. Oh, can I... What's the need for another one? Oh, God. That's awful. So, do I want a little bit more power? And these two, or a lot more green? Let's probably go for high quantity green more than anything else. We could get some blue hexagons. But that's only three blue hexagons. This is five green. Now, when you played Outer Wilds, that's how I found your channel, since Jacksepticeye only played a few hours. Darn shame, because Outer Wilds was, like, the best game out of last year, as far as I'm concerned. There were some absolute bangers, but that, that one was just a cut above the rest. I guess I did need the blue. So I'm not going to be able to get a SAM site without... Oh, well, whatever.
Okay. Probably a reasonable use of my... Slow down. Take out one of those. Seems like whenever they crash in... That's what does the most. And I'm just gonna keep spreading fire to everything. Let that damage over time effects really do all the work. Wow, that did work. Dang. All right. First found wonder when he got raided by Panzerpaw a long, long while ago. How is Panzerpaw doing? I haven't actually uh, spoken or interacted with him in a long time. Probably should. I'm just bad. Okay, Invasion Lagoon. We've got some more green, which is good. Uh, let's see. I need blue. Ugh. Well, I'm actually going to increase the amount of arrows that these guys are just shooting out. If I'm going to be... Oh, we could really have them just blast things. What else do we have? Could reduce the cooldown of this. I doubt I'll be able to use it more than once per round though. Even if I wanted to. Okay, let's just have that so it blocks out the sun and let's go. Was recommended us alongside a vacuum splat. Those are some good dudes. Oh, Panzer moved to Sweden. I had no idea. He was in Singapore last, right? Wow, look at that go. I'm so glad I upgraded the amount of arrows that they're chucking out. Because that's, that's spooky spam. I love that. I'd love to visit Singapore someday. It sounds like it would be a culture shock just due to the like restrictive nature of what's going on there. But I can see it being really neat. Unfortunately, just getting there is going to take a while. I also want to uh, spend some time in Europe someday. like a two-week period just taking the train everywhere probably writing maybe we'll see mother gunship that was a good game though i i'm still holding out hope that someday we get a tower of guns too because mother gunship was such a quality product but it it lacked a certain something the tower of guns had i think a lot of that had to do with just the bosses Maybe I should have actually aimed for this set. We'll see. Uh, that might have been a bit premature, but whatever. The Tower Guns was great. Yeah, the only problem, it, it, it had fantastic level design. Probably some of the best level design I've ever seen in a roguelite. The only problem is the lack of immediate variety in what would happen, because there were some, like, really neat secret weapons that you could get. Um, there was just very, very little that would actually change from run to run, apart from, how many jumps do I have? How fast am I? What gun am I currently using? And a couple other things, and that can, that could be a little restrictive. 
Let's see, Wonder, would you ever play Mario Maker 2? Probably not. I never grew up with Mario, so I don't think Mario would actually be very fun. Like, it would be amusing to try, but it would be one of those where it's like, yeah. I just don't like platformers, I think is the real answer. I just, they don't click for me in the same way that I'm sure a lot of other people like them. Uh, let's see. Do we want to arrows blot out the sun even further? I want to forge this up. some damage. Of course, now I'm out of green, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can at the very least pick this up. How much for a Sam site? Okay, so I have the... I almost have enough. Let's let's pick up another Cyclone. They're not the strongest, but just having a little bit of flying is good. Also symmetry. Very important. I don't know if I'm going to have more Cyclones specifically. I might want to pick up the pick up the bombers. Like, that might be my best solution to artillery. Skyfalls are interesting. I, I wonder if I actually prefer them over the other variety. Because they seem to have less of the rocket inventory. It's considerably worse for my archers, though. Wow, yeah. It's actually really bad for my archers. Also known as what archers? Might have some problems here. Luckily, we can just do repairs. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be buying anything between now and then. Okay, so we, we lost some things. But it's okay. But what happened to the melee fighters? I haven't really bothered with them too much. They're, so, the the Guardians are good, and I should probably invest in them. It's just nine times out of ten I haven't needed them yet, so it's very... It's very rare-ish. I don't know. Most of the... I guess if I just stay away from Sky Skyfall, we're good to go. And we've got some air raids. Ooh, ooh, those are some good air raids. Uh, let's see. And that's some really good damage on this, so I don't really want to play with that too much. Also, we can't afford it. Uh, let's see. Have we pretty much unlocked everything that I want? Yeah, actually. Now it's just a matter of what do we get. Well, probably going to go for this. I'm missing yellow crystals. We need more blue. I have some greens, and I can probably get more. And yeah, now I can afford my, my Sam Towers. This game's visual style is very appealing. I love low poly. It's super nice. I wish they had gone for more of an alien looking world. That's that's my only like beef with this, but otherwise like minor grumps.
Okay, I think that's all of the same site. How is the same site doing? Big missiles probably does a lot of damage. My shields are doing good. I apologize if this is a little messy looking. Uh, the the emergent strategy that I have for use of the beam turret is to set everything on fire. And the easiest way for me to do that is to spin like crazy. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's hit scan. So as long as I'm spinning, they're on fire. Let's see, don't you have to hold it a bit to inflame? Only a bit. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure it sets them on fire immediately. Like I will spin and I'll see as several things start burning. This looks like a problem. Okay. Um This will probably be fine. This looks spooky. It's certainly worth a lot. Okay, so we want to do... Okay, how much for a Spectre? Spectres are pricey. Well, we don't want a Spectre this time around. We actually want to pick up Guardians. Obviously, my Guardians aren't as durable as my Archers, but I'll oh, make it work. I'm just hoping they manage to uh, protect my archers for just a little bit longer. They won't. But it'll it'll help. Good lord. Well, I was running out of power, so I guess it's not so bad. Okay, and yeah, it looks like it worked, actually. Having the Guardians made a difference. Not necessarily enough of one. But my archers... My archer... Some of my archers lived. Not a lot else. But they did live. Okay, I'm gonna hit a light. It's gotten dark in here. Okay, so I have power. I don't have anything else. It's fine. Uh, let's see, so what do we need? We're out of blue, we're out of... Well, do we just keep racking up the, the power more than anything else? I could go for some... Orange cores. Or, not orange cores. Orange cores and red crystals. Hmm. What do I want? Madcap power? This would be a really easy one, too. 
Yeah, let's go easy. Once we get some more cores, we can just dump down a whole bunch of things. That'll be good feelings. Plus, invasions are quick. Screw you, trees. Yeah, I think I think my one like lasting pseudo complaint with this game would purely be the fact that um, was this an air raid or an in okay? It was an invasion. Okay. Uh, pseudo lasting complaint with this game would be purely. I wish it didn't look like some kind of weird Earth analog. I was playing a game recently called was it Eden Rising? Um, I think it was Eden Rising that was like a third person uh, action tower defense. It was actually a really neat game. And that had a really, like, solid aesthetic going for it. It was Eden Rising. Okay. Uh, it has a super nice-looking, like, very alien world aesthetic going on. And you could really tell, like, uh, somebody put their heart and soul into designing that that game. I never really d dug it. Obviously, this is a solo project, so I can't expect too much. But it's a little disappointing, because that's, like, the one thing about this that's not cool. And it's, it's okay, it's serviceable, but, like, I don't know. I just want to feel like I'm actually on another planet whenever I'm, like, playing these games. Earth is boring. Always has been. And there's absolutely beauty to realism. I, I won't deny that, like... Uh, one of my one of my big things that I'm really looking forward to doing this year is a lot more hiking, because like, yeah, Planet Earth is actually an absolutely beautiful planet. But if I want to see more of that, I will go outside often, actually. Yeah, give me that purple grass. Give me the trees that don't make sense. Give me those floating rocks that are just kind of wherever. Give me a rock-blasted moonscape that, you know, very clearly uh, <laughs> no human or anything should ever live there. <clears throat> Mars is where it's at. I actually, I really dig, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, actually, one second. Ciao. Can you make tea? Thank you. I'm losing my voice. Okay, uh, but yeah, Surviving Mars. I've actually wanted to go back to Surviving Mars at some point. Uh, let's see. Just because Surviving Mars was just that kind of neat of a product. Uh, it's... I guess I gotta go for the green. We're not... We don't have a whole lot of it. What else can I afford? Damn. That is loud. Uh, let's see. Health regen, full health. Well, I can afford this. Let's... Let's make the shield stupid. Oh. Yes. Our arrows... The sun. The sun will pale in comparison to them. Uh, let's see, invasion salt flats. Yeah, let's get let's get some more green up in this. But yeah, uh, surviving Mars. That's what I was gonna at least try and talk about. I really, really liked uh, surviving Mars. It's a bit of a shame it never really did particularly well on my channel. But that game was one of those that I I really dig dig the idea of, like, turning Mars green. And so, yeah, just seeing the small amounts of moss and mold and whatever growing on the rock-blasted hellscape that is Mars was just such a cool experience. I'll go back to that at some point. I don't actually know if they're... I'm assuming they're done developing it, so, yeah, I should probably just go back to the save file that I had. So it was a little long. I think that was the one beef that I was running into the game. It just 
took a while to get anywhere. Surviving, surviving Mars with mods? Oh, I mean, that's that's what I had been doing. Look at all those arrows. Bam! Ho 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 ho! Okay, we're reducing the cooldown on that one. I wonder how short we can get the cooldown to be. Oh boy, that was satisfying. Holy crap, there's a lot of them just dropping right here. Well. It is endless. You will not be bombing me anytime soon, thank you very much. Oh boy. This got worse. Shields back up. Set the fireflies on fire. We'll get rid of all of the other air support. Okay, so we're gonna start. Oh, some of these things are straight up just off camera for me. It's a bit of an issue. Not a huge one. Is there anybody else over there? No. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so now we're going to start getting tanks on invasions. I think we'll be okay, but... Oof. 